All right, what's up, Gooners? What's up, Code Monkeys? Um, today I'm gonna be doing a little tutorial for now um, about how I did my Godot thing um, with the basically um, how do I make a dynamic system where it generates cards? Um, not this scene, but for deck builder, there's nothing in it. It's just a grid container. But when I press play, it has like these cards over here. And then let me just resize it. Um, I can detect when I'm over the card, when I exit. And then I can drag this card. It adds it to the deck. And then I can drag this card. And then add it, it adds it to the card desert world. Um, so I'm going to be going on how to basically make a card uh, for this system that I made. And I spent the whole day on it, but yeah, let's uh let's get into it. So we're going to uh first we're gonna look at some code. Um this 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 script doesn't have anything in it, but basically the, the project directory has um uh, assets and it has two directories. Well it has one directory cards and then it has metadata, which is a dot tres and it's a resource and then uh, it has like the images for the cards so we're gonna go over the script that basically made the metadata which is this so I'm gonna go to card metadata over here um, this can be changed but this is what I have for right now I have like its HP the startup attack archetype element and whatnot and um, these are very useful things that we might want to have. So, um, when I go into, let's say, um, if I want to make like a new card, basically the workflow is we're going to go click on this folder. We're going to create a new resource and it should be uh, card metadata. So, it will be under this resource and then you can just search up card, card metadata, and that would be it. So we're just going to create one. Um, and we're going to call it, uh, let's see, the only other card example I have is Team Cream, which is just like a meme card I have. It, AIR, AIR is really funny, even though it has like some finger shit going on. But yeah, it's just everyone turned to ice cream. So uh, we're going to create that. It's going to be called Team underscore Cream. And my naming convention is kind of fucked up. I have like camel case for variables, but for functions, I have like, oh no, I have, I have like snake case for, for variables, but camel case for function names. Anyways, um, team cream is over here. If you can see it. And when we click on this, we can see the inspector on the right, and we can fill in our values. Um, if you try to open this up like in something like let's say like a text editor or like let's say NeoVim, uh, it won't really work. Like you can see it basically if I go to uh, assets and go to cards, metadata, and I can try to edit you know Team Cream. Um, but there's a lot of, like it's very easy to fuck up. Um, it could be really, I, I don't recommend like editing with the text editor. I think it's just better if you edit like straight in the, in the Godot editor, honestly. So just give it the name over here. So it's gonna be called Team Cream. Um, for the portrait, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna click and drag. So dragging this, put it into here. And you can see it's over here if you click on this thing. Um, it's a spell card, so I'm just going to give it no HP, no startup, no attack. And then I can give it a description. The description is this. So it's, um, it doesn't really have a description. It's like the same thing. It's like, uh, we're just going to call it team, uh, turns all squirters. I'm going to get rid of this. Into creamers. And then I guess the effect is going to be the same. It's just like a little string. Then you can only activate this card once per turn. 
is my other return is my other thing about it um element let's give it a water element um that that's kind of funny <laughs> um i'm gonna give it the archetype of cream i guess and then yeah that's that's our card now if we click on the deck builder scene and we click play i think this is the default scene anyways it's gonna put it right over here and it's gonna be automatically styled uh, i'm gonna resize this and we added team cream to our deck basically as you see on the, on the print statements uh, i have click and drag functionality but you can also just like click it uh, but it also does the dragging my plan is that like we're gonna have like click and drag to like your deck or you can just like click it to quickly add it um we're gonna look at the code now just if you want to understand but that was the tutorial part of the, of the video um for the ui card scene i have some to do's for mouse hover maybe you guys want to do something like this where you can add visual effects or uh, you know when it exits you remove it but basically the whole thing is i made a signal um, I connected mouse enter and mouse exit and then on input if the thing is hovered then we emit the signal card selected and we set the variable true or false and then basically we set the position of the card to our mouse position and then this is just setting up the card where we pass in the metadata and um, we give the if you look at the card scene this is the root and it has a label and has a portrait and we're setting the textures of the text and the portrait to what the, is passed in and on, met, on the metadata. Um, and then just to be sure, I did like a lot of like weird shit over here, but I basically just made sure that the the root node is the same size as the, the card portrait node. Um, I don't know if that matters anymore because I was having a problem where um, anywhere I clicked on the screen, both all the cards would be on the mouse, but that's because I didn't have this if is hovered uh, variable. So that's that's what fixed it. Um, deck manager. Um, so interestingly enough, um, on the deck builder thing, this is where we actually get the the signals of you know when we like click. So we're connecting the signals that we defined on card selected and card dragged so that's that's what's actually allowing us to to actually add the cards to our hand or to our deck and the deck is just an array of this scene um it should be really simple but basically what you want to do is you want to add to the deck manager so we will just do i think like a in deck builder um somewhere in the save deck what you would do is you would do deck manager dot append or dot is there any functions that I have in this deck manager um no I don't have anything so we would need to create like a function like add or like a save deck where you would pass in some like a deck of type array and then you would just do like deck equals deck or, or like uh, self dot deck equals deck or whatever um, and deck manager you have to save it for it's for this to work so now you can do deck matter dot uh, deck set deck what the hell did I do save deck is it not showing up save deck well one of you guys will will be responsible for this because um, someone has to do some work but anyways um, the idea is that there's a button in here so we'll look at the 2d scene there's like a button very small if you can see it right over here when I hover it that's gonna be our save button um, to save the deck so that um, once we click the save button it's gonna go into our deck manager and this deck manager is the script over here um, 
if you look at project settings when you go to globals deck manager is a simpleton so it's like a global class a global variable um and so that's what's going to be passed around from this scene to our 3d scene so that's how we'll sort that's how we'll store like the player's deck or maybe we make another resource i'm not really sure but um yeah i think that's most of the code let's see there's card metadata i just have a bunch of these exports deck manager which is very uh unfinished i didn't even make like this is more so it's like for the 3d scene that i just copied over um i didn't implement like adding a card yet for the 2d scene but one of you guys should go ahead and do that if you guys want to um the base card just has like the setup function where i gave it the text and the the texture uh this is important where i give the texture this which is uh the portrait over here um but really all you guys have to do if you want to add your own cards is go to this website um this is what i've used we'll we'll probably make like we'll probably have like another way to do this but if you want to make like a spell card or you make like a i don't know some monster card or a trap card this is from this is a Yu-Gi-Oh card maker by the way but you just give it like a name um you give it a picture of like whatever you want you can open this guy's picture i guess cream that png i guess it's not really showing up right now but um something's wrong with this website okay cool yeah like let's say you want to make like a new card you would just go over here click download I, I did normal resolution and that way all of our cards are like the same dimensions i guess um and then all you gotta do is get this thing and put it into the assets slash portraits as a png file and then what you do again is you just right click create a new resource and then uh, you click this and then in the metadata you, what you do is you double click it and you edit the the attributes over here and then what I have so far is that it will automatically uh, add it to our UI it will add it to the, the deck array variable that's within this scene and this should be like a scalable way so that you know the resource could also be referenced in our 3d scene so we don't have to like be making like a bunch of classes for every one card like before I had made like two classes for one card um, the only downside is that you can't really see it visually uh, because the cards are created dynamically but it's a million percent better to like have it um, like this because um, we don't want to have like a shit ton of scenes and dragging them dropping them into this grid container um, by the way this grid container has like four columns and then I gave it a spacing um somewhere i think it was in theme overrides yeah it's h separation is horizontal separation um so i can increase it a bit more and then what would happen is it would look like this uh but yeah that's that's basically it um i'm using arch by the way so nice new fast fetch or neo fetch and this is my uh my wallpaper picker app uh, it is hyper paper but I made a fork of it but the fork isn't working right now so I'm just using the main version and my own little color picker where it just copies the hex color to my to my thing so I think it's kind of cool uh, I don't really know what this video is going up but there's the hex color just a little Linux flex for you I guess and then my little Rofi config it's pretty nice but whatever I'm out um, yeah, uh, I hope you guys watched this video. Um, maybe two XP. This is probably like way too overdone. Um, the video is over now, but like, uh, yeah, uh, this is like I guess my onboarding for what I made. And so, anyone fully understands how to make like a card. Um, and yeah.